So I don't actually know if this is gonna work. This is like a necklace, a very, very long necklace, and I'm trying to make it look like it's a bandana or a headband or something. I never wear these things outside in the real world, okay? That's facts. But you know what? We're gonna go with it because we're extra in this channel. And speaking of extra, we're gonna be talking about the things that I bought this week. Well, not really this week. Last week included. If you don't want to watch this, it's fine. Just click out, watch a different video. I'll link something up here. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to share with you what I got this week. So the first thing I got were these earrings. You know how those Bonetta, Bo Botena fit with the what? I think it's called Bottega. Those Bottega earrings, there's like $800 that look like this. And it's like this Kylie Jenner kind of like drop earring. Everybody has been trying to find a dupe for that. And I have found some on Amazon, but I'm not like super comfortable buying on Amazon. One of the influencers that I follow, her name is Tony Dallas. She's from Montreal in Canada. She has her own line, CC Luxury. And they came out with um, this kind of earring. And I'm so happy because they look exactly the same as the Kylie Jenner ones. Now, granted, they are really chunky. They are really big. They're not for everyone. But I am in that phase where I don't care. <laughs> I love these chunky gold earrings and I think they look fabulous. They make me look extra and I like that. I've been really loving these extra things lately. I don't know. It's I think it's my age. I'm getting older and I'm starting not to care about things, which is great. And no, this is not sponsored. I just really like to support Tony because I love her brand. Uh, I think she has a sister who she's working with and her best friend. And I have a sister. I also have a best friend. We don't have our own shop, but you know, one day. I also got this ring. I have a few earrings from her as well. And I kind of want to buy more stuff, but... I mean, I'm trying to save money at the same time, so like, ugh, we'll, we'll do it, we'll space it out. So this is how the box looks like. Her shop is called CC Luxury Co. It took maybe a week until I finally received it, but I am happy because I have a trip next week and I would love to bring these things along. I like them, they're not so heavy. I was afraid they would be like super solid and heavy, but I'm actually happy they're not. If they were heavy, it would be really uncomfortable. Another thing I bought this week, and I actually just bought it a few days ago, it's this NYX, this this is Milky Gloss. This is in the shade Mango Lassie and I've been obsessed with orange. My nails are orange. My phone case is orange. I'm all about the orange right now. And since it's summer, I wanted something a little bit more orangey, a little bit more vibrant on the lips because I don't always wear lip products and when I can, go for something bright and light and summery, I will. So this one, my gosh, I love this. Well, I actually have it on top of a nude lip liner right now. Not only is the shade a beautiful orange, Orange. It's not super like in your face orange. It's more of like a subtle orange and you can build it up You can shear it out and it tastes like mango or like orange like an orange mango. It tastes amazing I'm trying to get my hands on the chocolate latte shake Which probably smells and tastes like chocolate latte shake, but it's sold out and I can't get it anywhere yet So I'm gonna wait for that one I think it's just the perfect topper shade if you want your lip products to be a little bit more orangey And I, I actually really like this one. This is the Rimmel Stay Matte. I just got this today actually. I got so tired of trying to find powders that was available in Canada. I'm trying to get the Essence one, it's not available. The Urban Decay one, it's not available. So I said, you know what? Remember that Rimmel Stay Matte powder that I used to really like before? Why don't you just get that? It's available, it's right in the drugstore. It's on sale. So I went to the drugstore and I got this. I also got a mirror from the drugstore actually. I think I'm gonna return this though because it's too expensive for what you get for this mirror. It's just too expensive. It was like $16 for a mirror. So I'll probably return this and go grab something at the dollar store. I'll probably find something that looks exactly like this for so much cheaper. I am going to a trip this weekend and I need a lot of sunscreen and I'm ready. This came in two. And unfortunately, the reviews on this is not like the best. Apparently, they changed their formula and it's not as good anymore. It's still good sunscreen. I know Banana Boat, the brand. And so I decided to get the spray version. I feel like it's just gonna be so much easier to just spray everything and then reapply. The reason why I don't reapply sunscreen throughout, blah, throughout the day is because I get so lazy to reapply the lotion. But if it's spray form, I think it'll encourage me to just spray it on my body throughout the day. And and therefore reapply SPF throughout the day as you should and this is the value size it came in the pack of two save some money so yeah I'm excited to use this one another random thing that I bought today was actually this after bite the itch eraser gel I haven't tried it yet so my last trip I had so many insect bites because I forgot to buy like those 
off insect repellent things, which I haven't yet bought, but I'm getting to that. I bought this to somehow help with all the bites. Hopefully this works, but I also have to purchase one that re repels the insects. Have you seen the mosquitoes in Canada? They're this big, this, this big, like they're monsters. They're killer mosquitoes. They're franken -kitos. My next purchase is a random one actually. It's not really beauty related. It's more like resting and relaxation. This is the Renfo Eye Massager. And I got this because one of the YouTubers that I was watching, she got one of these for herself and she seems to really like it. I watched some videos online and they were all sponsored, unfortunately. So I decided to just get one, see for myself if I like it. So it looks like this, it's got a little remote, but it looks like the Apple Vision Pro. And I've actually already tried this. I haven't peeled the plastic off yet because I'm still trying to decide if I actually really like it. Oops, it's talking to me. It feels good, it feels nice, and you can't wear makeup when you have this on, of course. It's a good massager, it heats up, it vibrates, it kneads around your eye area, and it actually has like those soothing music that you usually hear when you go to a spa. So I'm still thinking about whether I should keep it or return it, and I'll probably make a video reviewing this that's not sponsored. I really have to wrap this up soon because I'm starting to feel really hot. Next thing I bought is from Zara. I am a Zara kid. Uh, I've been eyeing this bag since it first came out and I never came. One day Zara was like, hey, we're gonna have a sale. This is the bag. It is a wicker basket bag with black faux leather handles. I have one that's similar from H&M. Unfortunately, it bounces a lot. So when I have it on my shoulder and I have my stuff in it, the whole thing bounces a lot. The structure isn't very sturdy. I kind of don't use it as much as I would like to. So this one is more sturdy. I think it's gonna be less bouncy when I wear it and it is on sale. So I caved, I'm happy, I don't regret it. <laughs> I hope I don't. And I'll probably be wearing this all throughout summer. So I bought two things at Zara. I actually bought five things, but I returned the rest. There's a sale going on right now. And Zara was selling this. It's like, um, it's almost like a belt, but you put it on your waist and it's supposed to be, oh, actually it's this way. So you put it on your wa waist and you like wear maybe a white top with it and you put this on. It just elevates the look, makes it look a little bit more trendy. And I just really like how it looks. This is in the size medium and it is a little bit, tiny bit too tight on me, but it's unusually comfortable. I'm just hoping that I'm brave enough to actually pull this off because if not, I'll probably just return this. So my last purchase is from a drugstore called Shoppers. Let me just grab this. This one is a real unboxing because I held out and waited until this video to open this box. So this is mostly Bondi Sands, if not all Bondi Sands. Yeah, they're all Bondi Sands. The first thing I got is the Bondi Sands Aero Self Tanning Foam. This is an ultra dark and I did a lot of research, research meaning, you know, YouTube watching. This is supposed to be good, so we'll see. I'm trying to make a video tanning with you as a first time tanner. If you have any tips on self tanning at home, please leave them in the comments down below because I've never self tanned before, never. I used to live in the Philippines and our tanning is the sun. The other thing that I bought was this everyday gradual tanning milk. So this lotion is supposed to be like a everyday lotion that will maintain the tan. So gradually you're gonna get darker or at least maintain your tan because I guess tans, they last for about a week before they completely fade. So this is supposed to basically make it a little bit longer. And so I bought it just in case. I mean, there was a promotion when I bought this at Shoppers. Again, I've never done this before, so I'm confused and I'm in need of a lot of tips. So if you have any, please comment them down below. Lastly, it's just the mitt. So I got the mitt because I needed a mitt. It's very like velvety. And I also got a free gift with a purchase. This is like, I think the back one, with the one where you like do that on your back maybe, because it's too big as for a bandana. Finally, this is technically not something I bought. It's basically something I had to pay shipping for, but the product is free because I already had it and it broke and so they sent me a new one. And I'm talking about this tempered glass screen and camera lens protector by Accessorize. They have this like um, insurance where if you buy a product, 
don't lose the receipt don't lose the packaging if it breaks or cracks then you send them an email and then they're gonna send you a new one to replace it so forgive how dirty my screen is but basically i have a few cracks here at the bottom and even the phone here at the back has a few cracks and so i sent them an email and then they quickly sent me one over all i had to do is pay the ten dollar shipping fee but this is like 30 bucks and if you think about it i actually saved 30 bucks because it's all free but what i love about this brand in particular is it's got the cover for the back of your camera for this one so this one is actually a cover as well it protects the camera this is not sponsored by the way how i wish it was caseify does the same thing they have these backings but they're really expensive so i'm planning to make a video of how i put it on and you know just bring you along with me how i put it on but yeah i'm really happy about that this phone it's like on lease so i have this plan where after two years I return the phone and then they give me some money back and I can use that money for a new phone and so I want to protect it as much as I can I really want to buy the Casetify phone case because I think the Casetify phone cases are amazingly cute and they're very well built but I can't pay $70 USD for a phone case um, I just have to like, be careful I just have to have a conscious effort to not drop my phone <laughs> well there you have it thank you so much for watching i hope you found this video enjoyable i don't typically make haul videos like this but i did purchase a bunch of stuff and i just wanted to share it with you anyway please don't forget to like subscribe and comment down below what you'd like to see next also hit that notification bell to be informed when i upload i am a small content creator and i do really appreciate any support that you may extend to me that will help me with my growth here on my channel i hope to see you in my next video bye